Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank God for another day. Thanks for joining me again in this morning devotion. And we boast on the fact that prayer works and God still hears and answers prayer. That's why we're here today. Somebody prayed for me. They had me on their mind. Someone prayed for you. They had you on their mind. They took a little time and prayed for you. We just honor God today. We can pray one-on-one, -on -one, or we can intercede today on behalf of someone. Someone wants to find the difference between prayer and supplication like this. Prayer, as we've seen in so many of other series of prayer, is chiefly speaking with God, having a one-to-one -one with Him, talking and listening, in essence, knowing God through communicating with Him. On the other hand, intercession involves a standing in the gap and an intervention in stepping into someone else's behalf through prayer. And that's what they define prayer and intercession as. Today, I encourage us to pray one-to-one -one with God. Talk to Him, but also listen to Him as well. Do not make it a one-way conversation, but rather spend time to hear what He will say to you. And for those of us who understand the power of intercession, stand in the gap for someone who may be in leadership, who may be struggling, sick, disease, challenge. Stand in the gap. With them. The doctors might have said they can't do anything else, but prayer goes beyond medical profession. God still hears and answers prayer. Ask God to give you a heart for somebody, to pray for them, and pray until there is a relief. Our meditation comes from 1 Timothy 2, 1 to 4, and it reads, I exhort, therefore, that, first of all, supplications, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all those in authority, that they may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth, the word of God to the people of God. Yes, prayer is acceptable unto God. Prayer helps others to be saved and is indeed the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. It's time to pray one-to-one -one or intercede, stand in the gap for someone today. God is waiting. Give time also for him to respond to you. Make it a dialogue. Thank God. Prayer works and God still hears and answer prayer. Fathers, your people today, as believers, as Christians everywhere, take time to pray, to intercede, to call on you. Help us also to wait patiently, to learn you, to understand you, to hear your heart, to hear your voice. I thank you for intercessors everywhere today. I pray the strength of God, the wisdom of God. I pray the knowledge of God. I pray that we will intercede, that we will be before you even now. 
all day long as we work, as we play, as we operate, whatever we do and say, may prayer be priority today. I give you praise for raising up intercessors in this season and this time. Thank you that they accept this gift, this opportunity, this responsibility to pray, to believe God, and to indeed wait until he come and reign righteousness upon us. And so we give you thanks for those who lead. We give you thanks for those who are in authority. We give you praise today as we pray for them, including our prime minister and all of parliament and their families, those who lead in medical, those who lead in education, those who lead in law enforcement. We commend them to you. We thank you for teachers. We thank you for parents. We thank you for students who are attending school, whether a hybrid or face-to-face, -face, we pray the blessings of God. We intercede on the difficulties and the challenges that we have faced today. God, we praise you. We thank you for victory, for overcoming power, for recovery. Yes, we will recover all. And we give you thanks and we believe and we trust you. You're the God of a second chance. You're the God of grace. You're the God of mercy. Oh, God. We seek you. Those who are lost and undone, who don't know you as Lord and Savior, those who are challenged, who the doctor's given up on, we pray. For there is still Bob and Gilead. There is still a physician. God still hears and answer prayer. We pray for souls and they be saved. Thank you that your will be done today as we pray, as we seek your face, as we turn from our wickedness. You promise. You will hear from heaven. You will forgive our sins. You will heal our land. So we pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for families everywhere that you be exalted today. In Jesus' name and for our sake. Amen. Let's pray. It still works. God still hears and answer prayer. Have a great day in the Lord.